Tuesday night's game against MK Dons was a popular one with the fans, end to end football from both sides. Um, how pleased are you with the team's performance that night? Yeah, I was, I was really, really happy with it. I thought we looked um, powerful, I thought we looked fit, I thought we looked tactically adept. And um, the only thing that was missing was the goal. We created numerous chances, and on another day, we could have, could have easily scored three or four goals. But sometimes that happens, we can't be too tough on the players. And um, just about getting them recovered now for, for Saturday. And coming off the pitch with that buzz as a manager, having seen your side played so well, does that give you a lot of confidence going into Saturday's game against Mansfield? I said to the players after, you need to take all the positives from that. You need to go out here with your, your heads held high and, and be proud of that performance. And You need to hold on to that and take it into Saturday. You've held your own against a really good League One team. And uh, if you can do that, then there's no reason we can't do it week in, week out in League Two. And looking at the squad for Saturday's game, is everyone fit and healthy and raring to go? Yeah, we have a fully fit squad. Um, I, I was really pleased with the fitness side of it and, and how powerful we looked towards the end of the game. Uh, and we had we had them sort of camped in their own box, having to defend for their lives. And and we kept going. You know, some of our distances from our data we collect was was unbelievable. We had three players covering nearly 16 kilometres in the game, which is which is an incredible total. And that shows what, what a good place they are in fitness-wise. So we have no worries about tomorrow's game. They'll be fully recovered and ready to go. And a lot's been made of Mansfield spending in the summer. They've been made the favourites by a lot of the bookies going into the league campaign. Is it a, an, an advantage going into Saturday's game, playing them so early in the season away from home? Could be. It could be. It might not be. They might. They might. You know that I've seen a couple of games. They look as though they they get in where they need to be. Um, I think if you're if you're an owner and, and you want to have a go financially and, and and you want to try and get out of a league, then then you appoint Steve Evans because he's got a lot of promotions on his CV. He always seems to get him up and around it, and I'm sure he'll be delighted with 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 the way things have gone in the summer. And I'm sure he'll be really confident of getting him out of the league. And with the transfer business you've done so far, are you happy with what you've got at your disposal, or is there still players you're looking to get him? I think as a manager, you're always you're always looking for more. Um, and I'm I'm quite content where we are, you know. And if you know if something comes out of the blue that that is too good for us to turn down, then we'll look at it. We've tried to bring a centre half in this week, an experienced one, but it was far too expensive for us and far too risky in terms of the length of the contract for for an older player. So I'm happy with what we've got, but not to say that if something comes available, we won't act.